Hi guys, my name is Ashantin and I thought I would do a quick video on how to survive or even, you know, start your first day on, yeah, on Vintage Story because this is, it's a gorgeous game. It's still rendering in here. This is a lucky spawn area because it's quite fertile. Uh, but there's one or two things that will uh, make your life easier rather than more difficult. Um, the first thing is not spawning halfway up a mountain on a ledge like I did the first time. And that's actually the world I decided to play now. You will notice that you start with eight bread and one torch. If you press E, you have no inventory, although you do have crafting. So your fir the first thing is don't just collect stuff for the sake of collecting and I know that a lot of us who've played other games this is what you're looking for flint because you can make primitive tools from flint or stone and look at this guys this is absolutely brilliant because you will find these this is a loot vessel with seeds in and at the moment this is right next to your spawn. Spawn is always zero, zero. So you can always find it easily. Until you have storage, these are seeds, not food. I would leave them there until you actually have something to carry them in. Now you've got flint here. So you, you need two flint to make anything. You also need sticks. So the easiest way to stick, can you see these are wide space leaves, these are twiggy leaves. The twiggy ones give you the sticks, the rest do not, but I'm going to take them down, mostly because I can't, I don't like leaving things hanging. <laughs> right, okay, those are hanging as well. So, we know we can make myself, ourselves a weapon and we might need that. This is very valuable, it's copper. Don't pick it up because you can't carry it. Now you've got two wild pigs, boars. These are going to be dangerous because they've got children there, so avoid them. The one thing you will need later is clay. This sort of white block with the striation and the dappled top is clay. And that is fire clay and that's blue clay. This is quite nice. This is actually, I just picked anything at random so that I could show you what it was like to spawn in. Gosh, there's more fire clay there. This is a very fertile area. Um, now, uh, to get an axe, you have to make a mold out of clay. No, so you have to nap an axe out of uh, flint. But we are looking for food because the first thing you're gonna need is food. Now, Pick the flint up and let's keep going. I'm still looking for food and I'm not finding any. This is your first challenge is going to be finding food. My first challenge here is finding food. Right, I think we've got enough flint. Let's just keep going. If I'm not careful, I'll be picking flint up and starving to death. Now, you will see that I have two bars. The one on the left is red, the one on the right is green, the one on the left, red, is the health bar and it shows you that I'm in full health. That's not always the case, it depends on your spawn. You can find yourself falling from somewhere if you're not careful. We, that copper's wonderful but we don't want it yet because we have no way of smelting it at the moment. Now I would like to, you can easily break blocks just with your hand and if you want to get up that's probably the best way of doing it right let's go and have a look and see if we can see what's around us there's a very very nice area down there I'm looking for two things the two things you're well you're going to need cattails as well God, we're doing well on flint around here I'm looking for a reed called cattails, which is here. Excellent. Now, 
let's just take a moment. If you press shift and right click, you will get a flint on the ground. You get arrowhead, axe head, a knife. That's what we want first of all. And then it's very easy. You just tap and that is by left clicking on these little yellow squares. And as you left click this, apart from the very nice sound, um, it's a very old technique that is actually still used today when you are making flint into different shapes. You nap it, so you take one flint and you cut bits of another out. Now that will give you two knife blades. Put one knife blade with a stick and you have a knife, other knife blade with a stick, you have another knife. That is immediately going to make my life easier. I would tell you something though, if I was somewhere, let's get these cattails up. That's it. Can I get, I need 10. Don't take the whole plant because they will regrow. If you do take the whole plant um, and you get a cattail root, you can replant it. You can eat it, but it's actually better to replant it because the more cattails you have in the game, the better. Here we go. Just cut them with a knife. Actually, I'm cutting them with a flint. It'd be better if I cut them with a knife. Quicker. That's why I made the knife. There we go. Nine. Yeah, there we go. Ten. Okay, so you have ten cattails. And you just go one, two in each of these. Two. and you have a basket. You put the basket in one of these slots on the right. Immediately, you have two more slots. It's not much, but believe me, when you're on a new area, every single bit counts. Now, let's look for some food. So far, I've not seen any food and I'm desperately looking because can you see my food bar, the right hand bar, the green one is starting to go down. So I want to find some food. Now, there's three types of food. There are berries. There are animals. And beware, if they're with young, they might just attack you. So be careful. Ah, oh, now this is what we're looking for. You can see that in all this greenery, it's quite hard to spot berry bushes. But look at this, that is a blueberry bush which is empty. This is a blueberry bush which is flowering. And this is what we're looking for. Just right click it and we get the blueberries. Now berries are absolutely brilliant because they're food, but they also heal a bit of health. So we've now got eight berries which we can eat. Okay, now these bushes can easily be picked up and taken with us, but at the beginning of the game, you don't have much inventory space. And until you've got more inventory space, it's actually better, I think, to leave them where they are, because you generally know roughly where they are, where you've come from. Um, and just go around and try to find um, more food, because when you move the bushes, they regrow, you can place them down again on any soil. Um, they'll grow on fertile soil. But what? that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for crops. That's eight out of nine, it's not ready. That's six out of nine. So these crops are not ready yet. And there's no point unless you're starving and even trying to get food from them. These are mushrooms now. Some of them you can eat and some of them you can't. I think the field mushroom, <coughs> no, that's another one. They always poison you. They probably have to be cooked in some way. 
Okay. So look. So eat your berries. <gasps> Do not fall off the mountain. That would not be a good idea. So it's night. And we haven't found much food yet. We found lots of flint. We found cattails. But what we're not finding is the basic food that I'm looking for. Now, the first night is going to be absolutely magical because no monsters are going to spawn, which is pretty magical to me. But the other thing is that it's going to be a full moon, so you should be able to see quite a bit. Now, this is what you need to get. That is mature spelt. Just right click it and you will see that you get you get spelt seeds and you get spelt grain. When you get the grains, three of them make spelt bread. So that's more of the bread you have. So already we have some more bread and that's some more as well. That's only two, so we can't make anything out of that yet, but we've got another and you can press shift click and it will put it in just as normal so the thing to do is to keep meandering these grass fields are very very good sources of food but seeing the food see this growing food here and this is flint in chalk we we need a shovel to get that out now you, the other sort of food, of course, is animals. You can kill chickens and things, but they're not easy. You can run after them. Then you've got to cook the food. So it's much better to actually look for your grains and your vegetables, just keeping your eye in through the grass and looking for a place to settle down where you can actually start to farm and grow your own food. The flowers are beautiful. You don't need them at this early stage. What you really need are berries, and there you are, you see. This is parsnips four out of five. That little patch of parsnips is not ripe yet. But we're okay. We've got extra bread. Uh, we've had some berries, so our health is good. There are no monsters going to spawn, so we can continue as far as we like. It's more flint. This is a flint-rich world, I tell you. I like this. More cattails if we wanted to increase our... Now, look at this, guys. This is... I can't get any closer. These are mature carrots. We break those. We're going to get another seed, carrot seeds, and we have three carrots to eat. Those are mature. More carrots, more carrot seeds. And those need to keep growing. So look for berries, look for carrots, get yourself a basket. I mean, obviously, let me stick this torch down. Obviously you can get more than one basket. Um, and if you can, you will increase your inventory space. So if you get another three, you get six more slots. It's not much until you can actually get better stuff. But look, end of day one, guys, we are in a lovely area. We've already had berries. We've had vegetables. We've got bread, grain, and we've got four seeds for the future. So you can survive, but as I said, don't waste your inventory space and get your eyes absolutely peeled for the f food. And don't do what I do, which is take one look at the night sky and fall in love with it because it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I think I've just seen some more berries around here. It's a question of getting your eye in on these. And here you are, look. Now, these are black currants. There's white currants, black currants, red berries, blueberries, and cranberries. Are those right? They're not. So, we don't need to eat berries at the moment, but we could do with a carrot to fill ourselves up. So we've had blueberries and blackberries. 
Now, when you decide where to stay, you can very easily pick these berries up and take them with you. Um, and you can replant them. But if you do that to start with, they take almost five days to start flowering again. Um, so it's really not worth it. So guys, that's just a few tips on how to survive your own, your first day, which is flint and sticks for primitive tools. Cattails, absolutely essential for storage. Berries for food and health, grain for bread, vegetables to keep you healthy. And this beautiful music to keep you company at night and this amazing, amazing feeling that is this game. I hope you enjoy playing it, guys. Bye-bye.